Hola, my lovers. It's your girl Clementine from Big Empress Energy, and I wanted to tap in with you guys so we can get into this total lunar eclipse okay now this total lunar eclipse is going to be exact on may 5th okay cinco de mayo and today is may 4th may the 4th be with you all okay and tonight we do have our collective candle reiki for this eclipse okay the moon is officially already here in scorpio so we're already feeling that full moon eclipse okay and i did like a pick a card for us all okay so check that out it's on instagram it's on youtube but i just wanted to kind of do a very um brief astrological sort of breakdown on what's going to be happening with the collective and how we can kind of work with this energy okay um <laughs> so let's get into it all right and so you guys know as well for tonight our theme is take your power back because this is the last lunar eclipse in scorpio of a series okay so we're ending out a cycle scorpio is ruled by pluto and mars and pluto is that planet of, ch of transformation okay of rebirth of generation and so we're dealing with that and pluto is also the planet that deals with power okay and mars <laughs> mars being you know fall fallen right now in cancer Pluto being retrograde. This is going to be a very intense lunar eclipse in Scorpio. I mean, clearly it's Scorpio. It's already the most intense sign of the Zodiac. But I just kind of feel like it's really going to be one. Okay, it's really going to be one for the books. Um, so if you're interested in the Collective Candle Reiki, we go live tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's the cutoff to secure a spot for the live. Okay, but you can always watch the replay. It's on Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Okay, link is in the bio. Let me know if you guys have any questions. You can email me blessings at Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Okay. So yeah, I'll be responding back to the emails throughout the day. If you already sent me one, thank you for your patience. Um, but yeah, you guys, this lunar eclipse, we're going to be feeling, we've probably already been feeling it, okay? And we're going to be feeling it. Um, now, eclipses happen in pairs, so we just had one two weeks ago, all right? And that was our solar eclipse in Aries, okay? So now that we are having this lunar eclipse this is when the moon is at its fullest right and so these are always very emotionally intense times and this eclipse is no different very emotionally intense it is exact at 1 34 p.m eastern tomorrow okay on friday may 5th and this is also happening at 14 degrees and so if you have any planets around that, you're definitely going to be directly impacted by this, okay? Um, and so with Taurus season underway, Taurus season, <laughs> the, what did I say yesterday? The retro clips or the eclipse trograde? The eclipse, yeah, it's crazy out here, okay? I can't even think Mercury retrograding on my sun. It is a wild ride, okay? So just don't feel like it's you. Also, this is a really good time of like recalibration and just kind of surrender and flow, okay? That's really the energy of this time, surrendering and flow to whatever is coming at you, whatever you feel like is crushing you or anything like that. And um, yeah, you know, this is a time where we are being called to really break free because Uranus is being activated, right? Because it's been in Taurus, it's in Taurus Uranus. And this is really also being opposite to the moon. So that is really going to be making us very, you know, emotionally, emotionally erratic, emotional roller coasters could be coming up. Um, also with this, we could have emotional breakthroughs. So finally seeing like a pattern of a cycle that we're ready to close the chapter on. Finally seeing how we can take our own power back. Finally seeing how powerful we are. Um, and, you know, not playing small anymore. This energy is not about playing small. It's about knowing that, you know, you when you go into the flames, when you burn down anything that isn't working for you, you are going to rise above like the phoenix from the ashes. That's another kind of theme for this eclipse is the phoenix phoenix rising from the ashes okay and that's just real complete regeneration so we might also want to end anything that has that has been keeping us up like manipulating us or the ways we've been manipulating or gaslighting our own self that's going to be coming up too 
okay? And seeing how we can take our power back, how we can get back in alignment, get back right with our higher self. And Uranus is like the planet that, you know, is like F around and find out, okay? So there could be a lot of accidents happening this week, okay? A lot of accidents happening if you're not careful, if you're not mindful, if you're not being intentional, so just be careful, even if you are doing those things and like you just kind of space out, like if you get in an accident, it can just be that invitation from the divine to slow down to, and it forces you to slow down, okay? Um, we're also coming off that sun and Mercury Kazemi. So this conjunction here, Mercury retrograde, we could be feeling very nostalgic as well with, you know, this retrograde and Mars is in Cancer, so we're getting nostalgic. We're like maybe looking through memories, your Facebook memories, talking to people that you haven't seen in a while, or making plans with people that you haven't seen in a while. Um, and we could also be feeling like we're talking a lot, okay? Like there's a lot of messages going back and forth, DMs, emails, a lot of correspondences that we have to um, go through. We could be feeling extra busy, but have like more lethargy actually because of the other transits I'll be talking about. But like we're busy, we have so much to do, but at the same time, like we just like might not have the energy to do so, okay? Um, so of course we're gonna be having this, you know, shocking surprising news surprising conversations secrets being revealed okay our mind being very active okay um so that's why it's important to slow down to ground connect with nature um evaluate what are your values taurus evaluate you know how you can also give back what because this is like i feel like a minimalism like because we're letting go so you might want to lean into minimalism what are you ready to let go okay Sun is going to be making a conjunction to Uranus, okay, because they're both in Taurus, and this is going to be amplifying the energy of surprise, breaking free from our norm or day-to-day. -day. We're going to crave something different, do something different, eating something different, being around different people, okay? Like, whatever we've been on for the past year and a half, we're going to want to like, get off of that, okay? Um, this could also cause rebellion in the collective, like people wanting to rebel or just break you know, have their own freedom and have their own rights and stuff like that, because there could be disputes over your own ideology. This is also going to show up as some impulsivity that can look like accidents like I talked about. So be careful. We're going to also want to maybe redecorate our surroundings, maybe um, reorganize your home, reorganize your workspace, redecorate, revive. Okay, that's excuse me, going to help you feel into the fresh energy. It's like if you're going through this transformation, you want that to be reflected around you in your space. So maybe, you know, where you put your desk, what you have in your closet, you know, the shoes that you're going to be wearing, okay? This could even be like, you know, getting tattoos or just like changing up your aesthetic in a way, you know, <laughs> just wanting to do something. Uh, maybe not want to do something like if you planned it a long time ago and you have the tattoo appointment that's completely fine but like those impulsive things like you know just like gonna cut your hair or you're just going to like get a tattoo you just like went into the tattoo shop and looked at what they have might not be the best time for that um we have also moon opposite mercury okay so this is going to bring up people wanting to talk about their feelings we can also internally feel a conflict between our mind mercury and our intuition moon so there's this like dichotomy or duality like do i listen to my mind or do i listen to my intuition okay um and this can also bring up those bad habits or pre-programming programming from childhood um, we might also get realizations about the ways that we were programmed in childhood and how we're still acting in that way or how we were sort of groomed psychologically in a way to fall into these traps and we didn't even know they were traps because we were so naive and we were so young okay so that can also be coming up um with this energy and so when these nostalgic hap things come up and we might fall into quick judgments from preconditioning we want to focus on those questions from dr Brene brown is it true how do i know it's true okay because we have to kind of question our beliefs with this moon opposite mercury or we can just be a victim to our preconditioning our emotional impulses without taking that critical thinking and taking things a little bit of a step further um so yeah, that's going to be coming up. I feel like this is going to be showing us our true feelings as well. We're also going to be having Moon making a favorable aspect to Mars, right? So this can 
actually be giving some people like maybe cancers scorpios and aries a little bit more energy um as well even though this is overall kind of a tiring eclipse they might have energy to follow their own passions follow their own you know their own drives if it's something that they have an emotional connection to not something that you do just because like it's expected from you but something you do because you want to do it for yourself okay um let's see i'll make you a moderator i don't know um victoria Because I cannot. I really cannot. Um, what else do we have here? We still have the moon tri Mars. This can also be giving us more confidence and courage, okay? In ourself, just being our free, authentic self or having confidence and courage to trust our intuition or to go to our passions. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate you, okay? Um, we're also going to be having moon opposite Uranus so this full moon making the opposition to Uranus which is next to the Sun so that's why I said Uranus is really like a top vibe for this and and Uranus is like very much you know it's the planet that spins opposite like it it's spin its rotation is opposite than the other planets and that's why it's the planet of rebellion and freedom so that's a really big theme we could be rebelling we can be breaking free. We could be, you know, opening ourselves up to different ways of thinking. We can notice that we're a completely different person. We've transformed, okay, because of that Uranus influence, okay? And some of you guys, too, you can think about Uranus as a higher octave of Mercury. So if Mercury is that mind, like the Uranus could be the collective mind, okay, the way we're all feeling. So this is really impacting everybody, okay? Um, so... With moon opposite Uranus, we can be emotionally excitable, okay? We can be, again, very, you know, impulsive. And this can cause us to leap to impulsive conclusions and kind of get in an emotional blur. Some people could experience emotional flooding when everything just feels so overwhelming. This is a good eclipse for a nice cry, okay? This could be a good eclipse to, like, like, um, you know, take a nice spiritual bath, okay? Do it for three days in a row. You might want to speak affirmations over yourself in the shower. We talked about in the week ahead horoscope, you know, as full moons are a time of letting go in a bowl of water, you know, speak into the water what you're ready to let go of. And then when you feel it's time and you've spoken everything that you want to release for this cycle, throwing it out, okay, on the streets, in the backyard, in your toilets, okay, and flushing it and just imagining as you let go of that water that all of that energy is released from you because water is a conduit and it is active as we are in water energy when we're in Scorpio. Okay. Thank you as well for the badges and the support. Truly appreciate it. You guys speaking abundance tenfold into your life. Okay. So yeah, definitely tap into water magic with this. Um, and this is also for some people, we're going to get surprising news or you were experiencing some surprising news that you might not like. OK, that you might not like it could be a little bit of a curveball. It could be a pickle it can get you in a pickle. OK, it could be feel like like a rock in your shoe that you have to get rid of. Um, yeah. So be on the lookout for that. It's kind of par for the course of the cosmic energy right now. So don't take it personal. And this is a good time to stimulate your imagination. Do some journaling, writing, singing, anything musical could be really beneficial because we have the moon making a trine to neptune this can actually expand our imagination okay this can expand our imagination and this can make the collective more empathetic and sympathetic to situations to stories in the news or to your neighbors to your friends your sisters your cousins your mom whatever it is you might feel just more connected to people through this transit and you can like understand you're picking up through a a lot through body language um this can again activate people wanting to cry or cry because of something that you've seen like you get that second hand feeling like you were there um as well and this if you're already sense spiritually sensitive or psychic uh your third eye will be activated it's going to be making your intuition even stronger so really trusting your intuition this is a good time to maybe give readings or get readings as well okay 
We're also going to be having Mercury making a sextile to Saturn. Thank you guys for all the love. I really appreciate it. I really, really do. And you guys have been crying. You've been feeling the energy. It's because we have this, you know, this trying with Neptune. So we're feeling it. The moon is super activated. The moon's making so many aspects. So that is really, really going to be stimulating our emotional side and our intuitive side with this Neptune. And it can be in a really beautiful way. And it can also feel a little bit like tragic or like, why is this happening to me? Or like almost a sensation of like emotionally drowning or why is this happening to others? Why is this happening to somebody, you know? And it's just kind of a lot. So, you know, this could be a good time as well to just like want to, you know, support another person, like being there for somebody if they're going through it, you know, or, you know, donating your time to charity or donating your, your, your time, your energy, your money to a good cause as well. That could be really beneficial to like balance out the energies, like see what can I do? You know, how can I help? Um, Mercury sextile Saturn as well. So this can be a time when we feel like we have to really take care of a lot of different responsibilities. I feel like this could be really good for organizing yourself, organizing your schedule um, as well. Take some time to evaluate what's working, what's not working, and make a plan about how you're going to attack what's not working, how you're going to show up smarter. You're not going to be, you know, putting too many things happening. You want to be more like, like you want the flow to be more productive instead of like erratic and scattered with that energy. Um, so some exact transits we're going to have is Venus making a sextile to Jupiter. Now, these are two benefics. So this is actually some good news. All right, guys. Yes, we got some good news here. Venus, sextile, Jupiter. And this can be good news, especially, especially, okay, based collectively. But I feel like especially for, um, sorry, I like to like do that with my tongue. I know it bothers some people, but anyway. So Jupiter, this is Pisces. This is Sagittarius uh, as well, Libra and Taurus. Um, this could be a very lucky aspect for you guys and just the collective in, ge in general. This can give you some unexpected luck or you can benefit or have some unexpected luck from a friend or someone who's helping you, someone who's in your network, okay? Um, and this can also be really good for money, making money, um, making maybe making money with your friends or your friends giving you ideas about how you can make more money. <laughs> y'all are funny um yeah ideas about how you can make more money that could be really good a good aspect for relationships because people are going to be maybe wanting to bring out the best in each other if it's a balanced equally yoked relationship this could make you feel like more supported in your relationships as well you may want to invest in learning or expanding your knowledge, like spending money on Jupiter, your knowledge, spending money on Jupiter, travel, long distance travel, booking your trips. And Jupiter also, this could be um, medicine or law, maybe people studying that, or you're learn you, you've taken an interest, you're like on law tube, or you're trying to learn more about medicine, holistic health, how to heal yourself. All of those things is a good time for that. And a good time to kind of like chill, study um, as well. You, the only bad thing about this is you might not want to, you know, you might not feel as motivated, okay? Depending, especially if you have weak mercury, like you might not feel as motivated. Um, okay, we also gonna be having Venus making a quincunx to Pluto. Okay, so there's going to be some adjustments that we're going to need to make when we see what our values are and how we might not be living up to them. Adjustments about how we need to transform our mindset, maybe talk about it with other people, talk about it in therapy, talking about it with someone who's wise or an elder can really be helpful as well. Okay, we have Mercury making a square, not Mercury, sorry, Mars. So another thing that's really active this eclipse is mars we have moon very active and mars and again remember mars is a ruler of scorpio so when we have the full moon in scorpio we want to look at what mars is doing mars isn't doing good because it's in cancer it's out of bounds and it's having a lot of aspects so mars is our drive our actions our ability to you know also could be our, our ability to like act up to be aggravated to be provocative okay 
<laughs> it gets the people going. Um, so Mars is making a square to Jupiter can make us make um, a big deal out of nothing. Okay. Making mountains out of molehills. Okay. Um, so that's something to look out for. Don't make something bigger than it is. And then this can also lead to the accidents or if you're impulsive, or this could lead to overextending yourself, like signing up for everything. And then you realize, oh my God, I actually don't have all that time. I don't have that availability. I can't make that. Um, I thought I had the ideal. I was highly optimistic that this would work out by now, but actually it's not working out. Okay. Um, so that's another situation happening with Mars making square to Jupiter. Mars is sextile to Uranus. So again, there's that Uranus energy. This can make people feel restless and impatient. Okay. You're going to want to have new experiences. You're going to want to do something out of your daily routine, your daily rut because of Uranus, right? And Mars. So Mars is action, drive passion and uranus is taking us to prize shock breaking through freedom um this is gonna be a good time to get out of something you don't like something that just isn't vibing with you anymore this could be a good time to exit stage left okay this is a good time for you know leaving an old job that you don't like this could be a good time for moving this could be a good time for leaving certain relationships okay as well or if you're not leaving you're changing the way that you're looking at the relationship you're changing the way that you're showing up you're changing the actions you're changing the things that you say you're changing the things that you do the experiences that you're having okay um so that's another thing that's coming up here we are going to have mars making a trine to neptune and so that is going off of that energy of how I said we might want to help others, donate our time, be there for others. This is also a good indication of our daydreaming and imagination and getting the um, the Mars, the energy to actually follow through with it, to actually do that. And the last transit, well, I'm going to talk about is Jupiter square Pluto. Now, this one we're actually going to be feeling for a little bit. Okay, we're going to be feeling this for a little while um, throughout Jupiter's stay in Taurus, right? But we're going to be feeling um, like we want to make certain changes, right? Pluto. And now we want to learn about it. Now we want to put in the effort to do it. We want to put in the effort to be great. We want to put in the effort to be our higher self. Okay, now, but this can also bring a conflict of interest with others who have I, differing ideologies. So this could bring bring up power struggles or trying to convince other people to think what you think or someone trying to do that to you. Um, so there could be a little bit of an ideology or mindset disagreements between you and other people or and you're trying to transform it in some way or you're trying to maybe see how you're transforming your own ideology. Okay. Um, we also might be obsessed at this time. Like we'll can get really obsessed with something and like say super dedicated because we're just obsessed. Okay. And we can also want to repair or fix something. Okay. So at this point, like you might get obsessed with maybe like an at home decorating project or obsessed with fixing, you know, a person or obsessed with fixing yourself or obsessed with just, you know, anything that you feel like needs to be improved. Pluto is the planet of obsession. Okay. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Um, so this is a really good time for transformation, obviously. And this can also bring up some I got a phone call, but can you guys still hear me? Yeah, it could be like improve, like getting obsessed with improving yourself in certain ways. Ooh, 11, 11. Okay, I think you guys can still hear me and see me. So that's good. Um, People might be taking up more interest in religion, like I said, or in metaphysical, learning more about, you know, maybe witchcraft, occult studies, and things like that. Um, and be mindful as well. This can bring up shady people, but they will be revealed, okay? Any shady people will be revealed. But ask yourself, what are these shady motherfuckers trying to teach me, okay? That's another thing you might want to ask yourself. 
But Lord, another one more thing I'm gonna say is that we're gonna have Chiron making a quincunx to this full moon. So Chiron is the asteroid of our wounded healer. It's the thing that you know hurts us, heals us. We learn how to heal it, and then we help others heal those parts of themselves. It can also bring up shadow work. So this could be a good moon to you know do some shadow work investigate yourself keep it real with yourself and see what adjustments you need to make you know through listening more to your intuition nurturing yourself or creating a safe space for you to you know tap in with your shadow self or your wounded healer you also could just be feeling more triggered and if you do feel triggered this is an indication of where you still need to make adjustments and healing okay um <laughs> i literally got <laughs> I also got a shady phone call on how to eclipse it, babe. It's crazy. All right, so that is my breakdown synopsis of our full lunar eclipse in Scorpio. Okay, the last one. Ta-ta, we will not miss you. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, but yeah, you guys, let me know how this resonates with you. Like the video. Um, if you're interested in our collective candle Reiki tonight, take your power back. Secure spot on my website, Big Empress Energy LLC.com. If you have any questions, email me at blessings at Big Empress Energy LLC.com. Sending you guys so many beautiful, bountiful blessings. Stay open to receiving them. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs>